Cody Rose versus Logan Paul for the WWE Undisputed Championship is signed on for the King and Queen of the Ring in just a couple of weeks. And although I am very much looking forward to the match itself, I do think the idea of it presents a few problems. However, it could be part of a larger story that could be leading into Logan Paul's United States Championship match all the way at SummerSlam. Now, before I even get into the pros and cons of Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul in just a couple of weeks in Saudi Arabia and really break down why I think the might the, the match, excuse me, might be happening, I want to talk about the specifics that I'm not really sure have been revealed yet. Cody Rhodes obviously will be defending the Undisputed WWE Championship. And Cody Rhodes in his promo on SmackDown and even on social media has alluded to holding the United States Championship as well. But WWE, at least from what I have seen, hasn't really specified whether both titles are going to be on the line yet whether this is a winner takes all match title for title whether it's like Seth Rollins and John Cena from almost 10 years ago at this point at SummerSlam I can't believe that's it was 10 years ago and that great matchup they haven't really specified at least from what I've seen I honestly wouldn't even mind if it wasn't a winner takes all match and literally just Cody Rhodes title was on the line with the logic being yes Logan Paul although he is the United States champion has you know accumulated how, however many victories to earn himself a match with Cody Rhodes I would be fine with that because honestly Cody Rhodes doesn't need to win the United States title and Logan Paul no matter of the stipulation of this match is obviously not winning the WWE championship and I will say no problem specifically with Logan Paul challenging Cody Rhodes for this title. I am down for a Logan Paul world title run one day. Not anytime soon because we just got done. Obviously a very long part-time world championship reign with Roman Reigns. And although Logan Paul is popping up a little bit more frequently here and there. Obviously, it was Royal Rumble, it was WrestleMania, now we're going to get him in Saudi, so it's a little bit like every other month for Logan Paul at the current moment. I'm fine with it, but not really a schedule for the world champion that I would want to see right now. And regardless of that, like I said, he's not beating Cody Rhodes, again, regardless of whatever the stipulation ends up being for this match. But the stipulation of it, whether it's winner takes all, isn't necessarily the problem for Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul at King and Queen of the Ring. The problem is Logan Paul's not winning this match, and Logan Paul is your current United States Champion. Now, we live in a current WWE, and I love this, what I'm about to say, that the champions aren't really losing non-title matches on television like they were all the time in the Vince McMahon era. Something you've seen less of in the last, you know, year and change when it was, you know, Triple H, then the Triple H Vince, you know, power struggle, and now back to Triple H. But you go back years in the Vince McMahon regime and it was full-on Vince booking. This is something you would do all the time. Just not caring about the U.S. and the Intercontinental titles and tag titles and really almost anything maybe outside of the world championships, even though certain world champions still would lose all the time. He he did my man Rey Mysterio dirty back in the day during his world title reign. But champions aren't really losing non-title matches in 2024. So Logan Paul with the United States Championship in this WWE title match, regardless of whether his title's on the line or not, is going to be taking a pinfall. And especially if his title's not on the line, it I, I think it's just an unnecessary loss for Logan Paul. There's no reason to be pinning a champion, whether, again, for the title, not for the title, especially if Logan Paul's going to be United States Champion post king and queen of the ring which i think he is going to be i think that is a small issue with the cody rhodes logan paul match logan paul having to take that unnecessary loss however i will say this i think the pros outweigh the cons and you guys know I love story. I love putting my creative cap on. I love doing a little bit of fantasy booking and tying in a couple of things we've seen in recent weeks and tying in what I think is going to be a big matchup for SummerSlam in August. What could the Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul story and matchup really be heading towards? Because to talk about the pros, although we have a short build to King and Queen of the Ring already less than three weeks until this show, Cody and Logan Paul is going to put on an entertaining short build up to that matchup. They had a fine promo to set it up on SmackDown. They're going to be doing a contract signing next week and then the week after that is the smackdown in saudi arabia which maybe they'll do something on that show but honestly not really necessary and then we'll have the match at king and queen of the ring and everything's fine from there but i think cody and logan paul could be tying in a couple of other superstars right after the cody and logan paul segment on smackdown i believe it was right after but regardless during smackdown aj styles had a backstage interview and of course aj went one-on-one -on -one with randy orton in a great king of the ring first round matchup or and got the victory but aj styles did note that he wants to run it back with cody rhodes in his own words paraphrasing but aj styles isn't done per se 
with Cody Rhodes, at least based off what he has said on WWE television. And a guy who I believe is probably not done with AJ Styles either is the megastar LA Knight. Now, has LA Knight been out here proclaiming he wants a rematch? He wants another go around with AJ Styles? Not necessarily. He is currently busy in the King of the Ring itself, just advanced to the quarterfinals by beating Santos Escobar on the WWE Live event the other night. But what I could see happening here with these couple of key players is maybe AJ Styles getting involved in the quick build up to Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul. Maybe he interrupts the contract signing next Friday. Maybe we see AJ Styles and Logan Paul beating up on Cody Rhodes. Maybe Logan Paul won wanting to be that guy who always has the advantage, like, you know, Cody Rhodes brought up, always using the brass knucks. Maybe Logan Paul, knowing AJ Styles, wants another crack at Cody Rhodes. Again, we're putting the fantasy booking on. It's like, listen, AJ, you, you help me take out Cody, I'll be the first one to give you a WWE title match after I win the title in King and Queen of the Ring. A simple little heel thing. We've seen it plenty of times, but it kind of fits in this storyline. So whether it's next week or the Friday after AJ Styles and Logan Paul, we can get a little double team beatdown on Cody Rhodes, and then maybe when we get to Saudi Arabia, Cody and Logan Paul going at it for the title, AJ Styles tries to intervene, but LA Knight puts a stop to it, regardless of whether LA Knight makes it to the finals of the King of the Ring tournament or not, and obviously AJ Styles has his history with LA Knight, and you know what, not for nothing, and I'm sure the, the Cody probably was just kind of saying this, but Cody Rhodes did mention LA Knight's name uh, on the Backlash press conference, talking about guys he wants to defend the WWE title about. Could have just been coincidence, but maybe it was done on purpose because of a story we could be leading towards. Cody Rhodes obviously defeats Logan Paul at King and Queen of the Ring to retain the WWE Championship and then we can move on to Clash of the Castle where we could, uh, what, what's the word here, really take care of a few birds with one stone. We could have AJ Styles and LA Knight, that rubber matchup in the lead up to Clash of the Castle maybe it goes to a double count at or a disqualification or Logan Paul screws LA Knight or something like that and then maybe at Clash of the Castle in Scotland while all these guys are intertwined all with the same end goal of just challenging Cody Rhodes for the WWE title. Maybe we get a triple threat. Maybe we get a fatal four-way with Cody, AJ, LA Knight, and then maybe Logan Paul's involved as well at Clash of the Castle in Scotland. Maybe Cody Rhodes, well, obviously Cody Rhodes retains the WWE Championship there. Maybe the reason Logan Paul comes up short in that matchup is similar to the reason AJ Styles came up short at the Royal Rumble, and it's because of LA Knight. And then it's simple storytelling from there. Logan Paul angered at LA Knight for costing him the WWE Championship not once, but twice. Logan Paul goes after LA Knight. LA Knight now has a reason to go after Logan Paul in the United States Championship, and that is the matchup you signed for Cleveland at SummerSlam. That is going to be a huge matchup with some incredible build, in my personal opinion. Super entertaining, I think it is going to be. The promos that Logan Paul and LA Knight are going to have together, and I think they're going to have a great match itself when it inevitably happens that was a matchup people were calling for for wrestlemania 40 and obviously they went in a different direction i'm not complaining because both logan paul and la knight's matchups at wrestlemania 40 very entertaining stuff in my opinion plus i don't think they should have linked up until la knight is going to defeat logan paul for the United States Championship. And Logan Paul, you know, is going to have a notable matchup on SummerSlam. Not just because it's SummerSlam and that's one of the shows he's been wrestling on over the last few years, but it's in his hometown of Cleveland. And even in his hometown of Cleveland, that crowd is most likely going to be against Logan Paul. But who are they absolutely going to be for? The megastar LA Knight. LA Knight can go beat Logan Paul for the United States Championship at SummerSlam in what could be a huge match. And on the road to doing so, can finish his story with AJ Styles. AJ can get another crack at Cody Rhodes. And Cody Rhodes has this multiple opponent story that he can really work for for a couple of months. He can work through King and Queen of the Ring with Logan Paul. They could do a multi-man match in Scotland at Clash. And then we can begin to set up who's Cody Rhodes' summer storyline is really going to be through Money in the Bank and through SummerSlam slam after that which who knows could be a randy orton or could be somebody else on friday night smackdown remains to be seen but that in my opinion is not only the pro and cons of the matchup just being signed but the overall story at least that i think could be happening or maybe i'm just really feeling creative and fantasy booking it but that is the story that i could see progressing and maybe one of the reasons we are getting Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul right now. A great one-off matchup to purpose a greater story. Or like I said, I'm just talking a bunch of mumbo jumbo and this is just going to be a one-off match and we're going to move on from there. Remains to be seen, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you looking forward to Cody versus Logan Paul? 
at King and Queen of the Ring, regardless of the reasoning, and even though I'm a little bit iffy on the just overall reasoning for the matchup, because like I said, Logan Paul, I really don't want to see him taking a loss. Maybe there's going to be shenanigans. Maybe it's not going to look that bad against Logan Paul, and really him losing as the United States champion won't really hurt his overall feel as a champion, if that makes sense. I'm looking forward to the matchup. We'll see how it progresses on Friday Night SmackDown over the next few weeks. But this is going to be one of two videos today going up before Monday Night Raw tonight as the King and Queen of the Rank Tournament progresses. And I am very much looking forward to seeing what's going to be going down on Raw tonight. The tournament has already been fire so far. We got Dragon off Jay Uso tonight. That's enough for me to sit down on the couch for three hours alone. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe down below. And if you want to support just a little extra, hit the join button and become a No Nation Wrestling channel member. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.